focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to Mad Limited. Make a difference, lead the difference. At a time when we are used to a working culture where customer is God, we found a company that thinks otherwise and treads a different path. In fact, they even managed to turn the impact of the recession upside down with their philosophy through innovation. HCL Technologies made a shift in its organizational approach in the year 2005 when it decided that it will place its employees before its customers. A concept that did show results right amidst the whirlpool of the recent and one of the worst global recessions. And this is what made the difference. It's 8 a.m. Millions of employees show up each day to put their names on a register. The world we see around us, countries and continents, have been built on the back of these signatures. The future, too, will be written by these signatures. Signatures of employees. You are an employee. Your boss is an employee. The cable guy is an employee. The overworked, the unsung, the white collared, the blue collared, the father of a nation, fathers and mothers, sons and daughters, healers and protectors. The girl you will fall in love with. The graveyard shift veterans. Even chief executives. Actors. Spot boys. Master chefs. And waitresses. Truth is, we are all employees, putting our names on ideas that shape our world. Truth is, every employee is a hero. Enough said. Let's go do what we all do best. Let's get to work. For HCL, its employee's first, customer's second initiative is a five-fold path to individual enlightenment, ensuring that the employees are given support, knowledge, recognition, empowerment and transformation. The EFCS model has not only helped HCL achieve a phenomenal growth rate of 24%, but has almost doubled its customer base and made it one of the fastest growing Indian IT companies in the country. Post the success of the employee's first customer second initiative, there was a need to take it out to the world at large and touch base with the youth across the country. And this was the genesis of Mad Limited. Make a difference, lead the difference. We've converted this whole series of experiments that we ran at HCL into a leadership module. And uh, we especially take it forward to our engineering students because while engineering students learn a lot of skills in the area of technology, uh, leadership as a skill is not really, uh, you know, uh, something that they are exposed to in their curriculum. These workshops are actually run by senior leaders at HCL. So each leader is encouraged to adopt around five to six colleges in their, in their city and uh, go and teach this whole uh, module to the students because this whole module is about practicality and, and you know experiences that you have gained at your workplace. So it works extremely well because students get to not only hear about leadership as a theory but actually see it how it gets practiced. There were a few workshops on employees first and uh, customer seconds by Mad Limited conducted. There was a certification course on the website which I did and it actually changed the way I think my thinking process. So 
you know, I could formalize my idea and present it in a better way. Youth with dreams to bring about a change in the present condition of our country are encouraged and mentored at Mad Limited to realize their dreams. This is a platform where the contestants are exposed to an environment that helps them churn the best of their idea and rediscover their individual potential. I, I truly believe that the aging population of the West and the young population of India is a fantastic opportunity for India. However, our people are not that innovative in thinking. They do not break the boundaries of thinking. Mad Limited is one such initiative to try and touch 10,000 lives every year and ask them why not and push them very hard to try and see if they can break the boundary of conventional thinking. So our advice to all the 10,000 people we, we touch is that is your ideas very closely aligned uh, with what you are passionate about? And if you are, then throw yourself and experience and experiment and the journey will find the innovative idea which you're seeking. Focus, ideate, innovate, enable. Focus, ideate, innovate, enable. Welcome back. After having seen the path of EFCS, employees first, customers second, that HCL Technologies took in 2005 and one that gave birth to the celebration of young leaders at Mad Limited, let's have a look at what season one of Mad Limited was all about and how that inspired the season two of Mad Limited. Make a difference, lead the difference. Competing through the stages, the top 15 contestants were given a chance to interact with the high officials at HCL and to get their valuable inputs on their ideas. And the results led to a revolution that is currently being led in eight cities across the country by CAP, an exceptional idea by the first CEO of Mad Limited, Shamli Rathor. CAP is about kids, adults and plants. So we are kind of connecting them, the kids to the adults who have the resources and the time to give to the kids to nurture them and to grow plant together so that, you know, they have a more greener planet. We once had a bunch of youngsters who came in HCL uh, Technologies and said, we want to create an internal social network. And they even named it the MEM, M-E-M-E. -M -E. Myself included and lots of other senior guys said, you've got Facebook and Twitter, and why on earth would we have an internal social network? And today there are 65,000 people conversing on the platform. It's a massive success. We were all wrong. So I don't think when you look at youth and you, and you look at their ideas, we are in a position to judge because the world is in a state of change. All we need to look at is the commitment, the passion, the energy which they are willing to bring to the idea. With this, a brand new search for the next change agent began. The search for the next candidate to win the title of the CEO of Mad Limited. And the second season has indeed witnessed a great response with more than 3,000 entries and requests to open the platform beyond the country. It's very fashionable to be cynical when you're young and when you're, when you're in, in that stage of your life. When you say the government doesn't work, everybody is corrupt, public transportation doesn't work, uh, poverty elevation doesn't work, nothing works in the system, so the system is not worth engaging with. But an initiative like Make a Difference, Lead the Difference says yes, there are lots of things that don't work, but the power to make them work, the power to change them is in your hands. I think it's really exciting. Um, I've been in India now for six and a half years and I've seen a sea change among the youth. The fact that there's a focus on changing, actively being a part of the change that's needed in this country is really exciting. And the fact that that's coming from the mainstream. I mean, these are kids that were across the country um, looking at these issues from a different angle, from a new perspective. So it's, it's, it's really inspiring. While the Mad Limited team at HCL had its thinking caps on for the future of this platform, the contestants were engrossed in finding new ways within the digital media to convince visitors about their ideas. 
wooing the visitors for their votes and clearing other hurdles of the competition, eight candidates reached the grand finale. These candidates were flown down to Delhi for the mad experience, providing them with a rare opportunity to interact and exchange ideas with the CEO of HCL, Vineet Nair. I think they're very good for, for 19 year old and 2021 20, year old people to think so far away and so far removed from what they're studying uh, is a very, very innovative and very, very uh, heartening thing for me to see. Uh, are those ideas fully shaped? The answer is no. Are they path breaking? The ideas no. But that's not the purpose of Mad Limited. The purpose of Mad Limited is not to find the best ideas, uh, but is to find the best brains. These eight people potentially because of the fact they have the process to think through, will be the leaders of tomorrow, will change the country. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Focus, ideate, innovate, enable. Now having began their journey with a brilliant interaction with Vineet Nair, the finalists were all geared up to face the grand jury. But before that, let's find out a little more about our finalists. Hello and welcome to the grand finale of Mad Limited, Make a Difference, Lead the Difference, inspired by HCL. From over a few thousand entries, eight individuals and their ideas have made it all the way here. And five eminent people will judge these ideas on their merit. Join me in welcoming our panel for today. Krishnan Chatterjee is the head of global marketing at HCL. Welcome, Krishnan. Ishita Swaroop is the CEO of 99labels.com. Hi, Ishita. Rita Soni joins us from the NASCOM Foundation, where she is the CEO. Deepak Marda, Joint Managing Director at Cinepolis. Hi, Deepak. And Sarveer Singh, the Managing Director of Capital 18. Welcome to the show. Let's begin the journey to identify the winner of the CEO of Mad Limited 2012. Let me call on the first participant for today, Chandramali Sharma from Mumbai, and his mad idea is a birthday tree. I'm Chandramali Sharma, and I'm from NIT Suratkal, and my idea is Plant a Birthday Tree Initiative. It started two years back, uh, I, I bought a magazine called Widget, uh, which, along which with, they sent seeds during that issue of the month. And incidentally, that was my birthday month, so uh, I just got an idea, why, why not plant a tree on that day? Uh, let's see, the judges, they might be pr pretty cool, they might be harsh, let's see. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give my best and just g say what I have to say. And let's see, leave it up to the judges. In any case, plant a birthday tree. Before I start my talk, I want to ask you a question. Is this thing familiar to you? Have you ever read this? Go green. Okay. Have you ever been in a marathon, green marathon, something like that? Or green Delhi, clean Delhi? So this is what it has become. It's a fashion statement today. We figure out there are three main problems. Uh, lack of information, lack of motivation, and lack of proper, proper environmental education. To solve the problem, first problem, lack of information, we developed a website called www.birthdaytree.in where we tell people how to plant trees, which trees to plant, and how, you, how do you take care of them. Uh, but the question was how to motivate them. This is where the birthday thing comes. And 
uh, we are preparing for the World Environment Day and we are launching a course on that day. But the problem here is the scalability. So we uh, made a model which is flexible enough, which can be adopted by organizations, colleges, schools, institutions, even hospitals. So we have uh, we are talk in talks with KMC M Mangalore Hospital where they plant uh, trees for each baby born in their hospital. We have a strong team now. We started two months back and we are a team of eight now consisting of two environmentalists. Yeah. What about after their birthday? What motivates them to continue to take care yeah, of Yeah, there, there's a community which you know develops around in a college which are taking care of the trees. In a couple of years, I'll graduate, right, at some point. Yeah. So then who takes care of the tree beyond that? It's, it's, uh, see, uh, what happens is we have a concept called adopt a tree also. And during adoption, what happens is you take care of the tree, you water, that, water it, and you pr provide fertilizers. I have a slightly controversial point of view. In a country like ours, where mm -hmm. food is of shortage, mm -hmm. deforestation happened to plant uh, food growing uh, plants. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, why not that? Yeah, it's it's a good option. It's actually you can actually think of it, but uh, you need to model it accordingly. Yeah, I started well, and then I spoke for full three minutes. I finished up all my talks. And it was pretty good. They are like asking uh, relevant questions, and they're not just trying to do a harsh answer. I think it's an interesting idea. I think it needs to be thought through a little bit more. I like the way he chose a fairly superficial frame of reference for Go Green mm -hmm. as it stands today mm -hmm. to position his idea. Lovely. So to that extent, I thought there was uniqueness. In it. Okay, after Chandramauli and his birthday tree idea, the next idea comes all the way from Chennai. We have Hitesh Singh Rati and his idea is reuse and recycle. Let's hear more about it. Uh, my name is Hitesh Singh Rati. I'm from SRM Chennai. My idea is green was the first try. I'm implementing this idea in my college since one year. So first, like, I just told them, okay, uh, guys, I'm recycling. What's new, dude? Uh, everybody recycles, uh, or we can give it to any other NGO. So, okay, that was the like hardest part I have ever faced, the questions. I have like covered all the way from Chennai to Delhi. I don't know, like, but I'm a bit of nervous and excitement too. I'm confident about my idea. Let us see, like, first, I, I am here to ask a question. I am a green warrior, are you? Indian waste around 14.3 million ton papers every year but only 26 percent is recovered compared to Germany that is 80, 86 percent China it is 45 percent so this leaves us India dependent on imports because uh, we import around uh, a paper of worth rupees 50 lakh per day so here come green walls connecting pupils and the paper so basically how does the working cycle operates this is the waste paper collected at some place at, and it goes through two cycles by selling it and getting the monetary benefits. Other is recycle and get the products which you have on the table. So how would I dream is expanding to student, student localities and to the uh, workplaces. You know, often uh, people will pay premium for let's say organic products. Why would you price it lower? Why, why not higher? Because uh, I am trying to give these products to back to the donors. It may be a certification or maybe a simple recycled paper diary. Do you have any idea what the net impact is of this? So because the process of recycling itself yes, also consumes water, it also consumes electricity. Yes, if you are recycling a paper, it is going to save 40% of the total production cost. For example, like my college have a capacity of 15,000 students. On an average, a student wastes 2 kg of paper. So it, it is about 30,000 kg of paper. So we, it is like 2 lakh 50,000 rupees per month from out of like nothing. It was fine, but the main part is bombardment of the questions. <laughs> so it is very like, you know, nervous about the question, how they are bombarding your questions. I like the idea. Uh, okay. I like the intent for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm. Again, I'm not sure I understood the business of it. And I think it can be made into a business. Okay. I think that's the, for me, it's an exciting part. He brought together a very nice problem statement. But what was disappointing is not identifying. So obviously, others are doing this better than India. Right. And some amount of analysis about what is it that they are doing mm -hmm. would have helped his cause, which I don't think he did. We would be charging a mu much less amount than other big players in the market. So he's not a man who sort of stops uh, where the assignment stops. Are you? passionate about implementing it. That's why it's leading to, I'm really sorry, I'm so nervous. They were good to me.
and love that brings us to the end of the first episode of the second season of mad limited do remember we have six more finalists eagerly waiting to meet the grand jury so catch us next week as we show you what these six ideas are and who amongst these eight is going to become the ceo of mad limited season two till then keep watching cnbc tv 18.